have photographs of the damage to the property? I do have some photographs, yes. Because we received a lot of last minute evidence here. I think if you would have had photographs, you would have submitted those. Your Honor. What does that have to do with we him did, paying, I did not paying tell, his rent? It has to do with credibility. Because her representation was a mudslinger. They, and I'm going to quote, have lied. And I said, I don't think either of you have been 100% candid. You mentioned damages. You mentioned things. And she says, well, I have the photographs right here. We but, do. But you don't. We do. They didn't ask me for it. So that's why you guys don't have copies of it. Uh, so that's not we, on me. I did bring them, and I did bring them And if as you do have them, at some point, we will look at those photographs. Yes, please. For whatever we think that they might be relevant okay. for, if at all. But so far, sir, I'm still looking for how you paid your last month's rent. And throughout the documents and papers that I've seen, I've not seen that. Uh, well, my apology, Judge. Um, a lot of our documentation was lost during the move. Honestly, based on what's been submitted, I think if you would have had that evidence, you would have brought that too. Judge Carriero? So what happened to his security deposit? The dumpster fee, the cleanup, the hiring was exceeded 300. You $300. kept his security deposit? Yes. Did you give him a notice indicating what the damages were? No. Why not? I don't. Step up here, please. You're the agent. I'm Nicole Pena. I do property management for Barbara. You do? Yes. What are you required to do when you have a security deposit in your possession and a tenant leaves the premises. Supposed to get it back to them within 21 days of them moving out. Did you do that in this No, case? we have not. Yet you took his security deposit. Yes. And he claims his music instruments. We did not give back the security deposit yet. You're correct. I have nothing further. For me, the question really boils down to what happened to the $3,000 security deposit. It seems that your position is that that should be allocated toward your December rent, correct? Yes. Now, I assume that the lease says that that's not what it's for. You know that that's not what it's for. I came to that understanding after the fact. You came to that understanding after reading the lease? Yes. Did you read the lease before you moved in? No. So your lease expired January 8th, but at the time that you were to move out, you were diagnosed with double pneumonia? Yes, ma'am. And you were hospitalized? I was in the hospital for When nine were you days. hospitalized? It was the week of the 10th. Did you make the plaintiff aware of the fact that you were hospitalized? Yes, we did. How did you do that? My wife informed Nicole. The in writing manager. or orally? No, not in writing. It was a verbal conversation. What was the relationship like? Did you all get along or was there some incremental um, hostility? The relationship deteriorated as the economic relationship deteriorated. But also, Miss Reagan was not a very nice person to deal with. What do you mean she wasn't a nice person to deal with? She was very rude, disrespectful. She swore at me on a couple of different occasions. Give me an example. Well, she basically told me that I was a liar. Uh, when I explained that my father had passed, she said I was a liar and she was tired of my BS lies. That was one occasion. Another occasion in the garage on the property with her brother and Nicole's husband present. She was very disrespectful and embarrassing, yelling at me. Was she saying I've things never... to you that related to the fact that you hadn't paid the rent yet? No. So they had nothing to it do had with the rent. She was it. just going off on you, well, being disrespectful that's not true. for I stand no reason. Corrected. It was. Because that's hard to believe. Everybody's playing a little fast and loose here. Maybe she was really rude and unfriendly, but I also know that you weren't paying the rent on time. Nobody was in this to be friends. At the end of the day, they're entitled to the rent. That brings me back to what the heck happened to the $3,000 security deposit. What you've suggested, Ms. Pena, is that the home was in horrible disrepair and the cleanup ate up that $3,000 security deposit. So, Mr. Holmes, is it fair to say that you left the place in a state of disarray? Or do you not know since you weren't there? I'm, I have no idea. I know that we still had property. You know you left some things there. Yes, some furniture and my itemized list of musical equipment and tools as well. And work. that's the other reason why you're saying you don't owe them this money, because they discarded your items in advance of the January 10th extension that you say you were given. Yes.